I left Kenya in 2001 mm. to go to America to study finance. Mm -hmm. But when I landed there, I realized, aha, uh -huh, mm. investment banking is far from it in Kenya. Mm. So I changed my, uh, you know, my studies and whatnot. And two months later, I ended up working for, um, because I landed in the Dean's List uh, at Northeastern University in Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah. Um, so I was very privileged. When they came for the career day, I was picked by State Street Bank one of the global, largest global custodian. And for me, what happened is that, uh, so my story is very long, but I've been an investment <laughs> banker since uh, now in State Street Bank. Mm. In 20, wow, these years have flown. In 2010, mm. I had always a desire to come back home because um, some of you might not know, I'm also the founder of Duta Angels Foundation. Mm. I lost my mother when I was in the States. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, when I lost my mother, and because also I studied finance because I wanted to bring it back home. Mm -hmm. I'm crazy about my country. I love Kenya to pieces. Uh, mm -hmm. My parents, my friends also don't understand. My <laughs> former boss in State Street don't understand. Mm -hmm. So I resigned my big job mm -hmm. uh, and came home. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to come back home in 2007, but you know what happened? Yeah. Uh, Kenya was the, the had this, yeah. the worst the post election uh, post, post, post post violence. Election violence. Yeah. So we watch on CNN and I was like, yes, I'm a risk taker, by the way, yeah. as you know, as yeah. you can tell. Yeah. I'm a risk taker, but I held off a bit. Okay. I still had a very good job. Mm -hmm. So in 2010, I was like, this is it. Anyway, so I came back home um, and I've uh, been doing different things. So when I came back home, I wanted to start a consulting firm, still investment banking. But the former Chase Bank director, mm -hmm. Zaf Ruler, found me. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they, it's usually known, even mm -hmm. the ambassadors, whenever they would the government of Kenya, whenever they would send people to do diaspora investment conferences, I would be the go-to person. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very crazy about investment because I feel that I come from a very humble background. I'm from Gatanga, very proudly, somewhere <laughs> 40 minutes from Nairobi. <laughs> and uh, because my parents were very poor, yeah. if I can use that word, mm. poor, mm. humble, mm. Uh, we were. I am a fourth born in a family of eight. Yeah. I never knew even, for example, savings. But I knew that my par my dad is such a shrewd, he's like the Warren Buffett or Chris Kirubi mm -hmm. of so like when my dad tells tangan. you buy, yeah. you don't even, you just shut up and buy. Yeah. You, you just remit the money and, yeah. and buy. Yeah. My returning to Kenya was obviously a blessing. So I, I, I'm crazy about in investing. So when I came back home anyway, fast forward, mm -hmm. uh, in 2010 when I came, Zaf requested me to start a diaspora department. Yeah at the Chase Bank mm -hmm. um, and I've been doing banking since then 2010 uh, moved to different dockets I'm very crazy about youth mentorship I told you I come from a very rural area where my parents did not have education mm -hmm. so mentorship was like go to school get the number one two do not bring number three to <laughs> my house yeah otherwise you're in a family of eight you have a chance as a girl yeah. to be even kicked out drop out of school so anyway the mentorship is a very big deal so I'm a global youth mentor um, over the years, no, what has happened is that uh, last three years ago, 2018, yeah. when uh, Ch uh, State Bank of Mauritius came to Kenya, I was seconded to move from my department to head the women banking and youth banking. I always carry the youth along because I know mentorship takes people far and even entrepreneurship, we're promoting entrepreneurship. Yeah. Anyway, fast forward, um, this year I've headed you women banking at State Street Bank, no, State Bank of Mauritius yeah. for the last three years, won very many awards, uh, influence, my actually calling, we met in church, yeah. my calling <laughs> from God is actually influence. Mm. He has given me that as a gift mm. and I don't take it for granted. And you can see, you can actually connect the dots. Yeah. The reason God wanted me to resign a big job in Wall Street is because I have a serious influence. Mm -hmm. um, and my names, it's not about my names, it's, it's a gift from God. So the influence I've got is that I'm able to advocate companies, I'm able to influence companies, uh, you know, to change certain policies that don't make sense. Um, inclusion is very close to me. I told yeah, you that I come from it. the rural area yeah. of Kenya proudly. Yeah. Mm. Actually, the village is what has made me. Mm. 